Hello and welcome. In today's video, I have a Kenwood 5 disc CD player that needs repaired. I picked this up at a yard sale the other day. Condition not working. Reason unknown. This is a Kenwood DP-R4070. It has a remote control system port and a line output. The front of the unit looks great. Both sides have dents and dings and scratches, which is okay. You're not going to see them. The tab locks on the cover panel have separated from the front panel. All easy fixes. Hey everyone, a trivia question for you. Please leave your answer in the comment section. On to cleaning the device. I'll go ahead and speed this up. That special wiping juice does the job once again, and it looks awesome. Okay, now it's time to remove the screws so I can get inside and see what is wrong. After I remove all the screws, I will remove the panel and set it aside. Looks like a CD has become dislodged from its bay, causing the CD selector wheel to malfunction. Everything else looks okay as far as I can tell. There's no damage to any of the interior PCB boards. I'll go ahead and remove the CD. I'm 100% sure this is the reason why the CD player quit working. This CD is no longer playable. It is so scratched. We'll throw it away. After checking everything, I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Okay, looks like the CD tray is rotating. I'm also going to check that all the basic functions work. The opening mechanism. Okay, it opens just fine. Checking the change disc function. Well, it looks like all the functions are working. So next thing to do is to put the cover panel back on and go grab a CD and see if it works. Everything's back together. The front looks really nice. Next, I'll check it again to make sure it opens and closes and the disc tray turns. And then we'll test it out. If you have any questions or comments on the video, please leave them in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for stopping by and watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.